back at Western. I grabbed three stacks. Uh, two of them I'm stoked I see a polar deck on top of one. And this one has a super old real top on it. Um, can't wait to get into some stacks. Just gonna add a few more stacks to show you guys in a short video. Once again, at the end, we'll lay them all out. Um, you can get an overview of what I'm trying to jam through in just a few minutes here. Um, like I said in previous videos, this is the first step of us unwrapping this collection as it's come to us from LA and LA Dave's collection. Um, there's just randomness and then there's just gems. Like this is a key top board that looks like it was uh, a graphic of a custom spray overlay of just textures and just unique creative spray art. Uh, no wrapping, got a little mark on the top from the wood factory it's from. This is definitely 2000s era, real Huff deck. Pretty dope, dude. Love Huff. <laughs> How about a uh, dump tread on me? How about dump tread under me? Miruana. Classic anti hero. But it's weird, there's no top graphic. It's got a few scratches on it, but one of those awesome anti-hero graphics. And then, uh, this is the R1 Construction Booznitz. One of the earliest foil layers I've seen. This board's definitely over 10 years old, but it has like a shiny foil overlay that I still love to see, and texture. Like you can feel this layer of crackle on it. Almost like a, the crack you can see on the back of a Jordan or something. That's like the texture that it has on that. And then just a rad team board, split veneer in the middle, red and black. Always love seeing it. Man, it changes. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Red, white, and black. This is a renewal edition, like price point, basic 8.5. How about a Kirkwood Mark Gonzalez, eight and a quarter? This is, uh, and this is when they started putting the Roman numerals on the back for where they were in the press. This is a two, so different depths, different numbers, different concaves. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Oh, here's the Andrew Allen Boys of Summer. We got one of these priced on the website now. We got, uh, we got another one. And then, uh, the Nada series. This is a newer board. So, we have a few of these ones. Blue, green, and purple. Pretty basic Nada collab. Nothing too nar nar. I think there were some other boards in this series that uh, some of the people was a little more coveted. These were like just cool graphics that Nada did for the real in the shop. The Nada. Enjoy plus, oh no, enjoy equals money equals happy. Pretty straightforward. Enjoy skateboards. Resin 7. Pretty cool. Another like Dark Star, Greg Blotzka. Um, crazy carbon fiber inlay on that one. Looks like I've got to run on some dwindle decks. This is some cliche 3. Kind of has like FA vibes, kind of with how that graphic comes together right there. Just like early photo collage stuff. It's been done a million times, but it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's what these are. Lucas Quig, Cliche, Impact. This one has the fiber lamb on the under layer, and this one has an edge on the top layer. This one is always good at doing all these different variations of durability tests and all that. Oh man. How about a Lucas Quig for Hellas? Ella's hats out of uh, Europe. I think they're just the hat brand. They've done more, but um, Lucas was definitely a man in the mix of that. I remember having some Hella's hats that were way too small for me. They just sit like on top of your head all weird. But there we go. Um, another cliche board. <clears throat> another cliche Andrew Brophy. Rocky Horror kind of vibes. 
is almost what DC Comics, comics for Batman. It says, The Dark Knight Returns. And I thought it might be like Christian Bale or something, but it must be something to do with the actual comic of his return. This was from uh, Borders of Montebello. <laughs> so sometimes people would buy boards somewhere and trade them in other shops and do all kinds of stuff. Uh, Ryan DeCenzo for Dark Star and Harley Davidson. It's kind of cool. And then another Ryan DeCenzo, like purple rain, purple rain kind of font. And Dark Star board. VSM Wood Factory. Any big fans out there of Dark Star, Cliche, Enjoy? Enjoy always stuck out to me out of all those the most. And then, then you forget about almost, and you're like, oh wait, Rodney. Rodney. This is an early polar skate graphic. Early. I want to say this was when it was back at Theory's Distribution, for sure, coming out from Europe. I can't even tell where this wood is, but definitely an awesome one. Definitely focus in on that one later. It's a polar fan. It's pretty rad. Oh, here's a Jason Adams shaped board from Elephant, the kid. Um, Mike V and Adams, speaking, I mean, they were together on Black Table. And when they had just a killer team, man, it was, a, it was a fun period right there. It's a hand signed board from uh, Vanessa Torres to LA Steve. Much love. Uh, meow skateboards. I always love Meow. Um, Knew these girls in the neighborhoods in Long Beach. Vanessa, just always sweet. Come in and buy a set of hardware and just chat up for a while. Very awesome, very awesome. Another one of those, uh, Jason Adams, the kid, elephant, collab deck. Um, love watching these Instagram videos, slashing curves still. Oh, this is a very early hockey deck. No trabajo for Juan. No Trabajo for Juan. Lost, dispissed, puking in public. <clears throat> Little scratches on it, but it was rad to see. Early hockey deck. John Lupfer for stereo. Dang! How about a Nuge signed foundation? Made in the USA, so Watson Laminates. I love LA Skate, Nuge, Volume 4. Pretty rad. We'll get you some burgers you wrote after you get that deck. Oh, color bars. David Bowie deck. This is uh, 2019. These decks I think were made at Prime. I always pay attention to that stuff, but. What a dog town. Skates dominate. A little Santa Monica little homage there. It's like a long wheelbase, fun, cool shape. Definitely screams Dogtown with that glitter. Another one of those John Loopers. And uh, MLCS. Anyone gonna hit me in the comments and tell me what MLCS is? First time I've ever seen it. It's amazing finding like a one off brand I've never heard of right next to a stereo deck. An early polar side huge deck. <laughs> and one of the first hockey boards ever made. Pretty rad. We're gonna go put them out. Check out the clip on the next. We're gonna lay these guys out for you slow mo. Hit us up with those comments. Shoot us a DM. We're here. We wanna talk to you guys about this. We're not just doing this for us. We wanna meet you. So come say what's up. Peace guys.